Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Mr. Robot Hacked? Well, actually, you heard it right. In an ironic twist, the Mr. Robot website, specifically an updated site, getting ready for the next season of the popular TV show Mr. Robot, that website had a security vulnerability that some young security researcher found and reported to the network. This Good Samaritan actually found a cross-site scripting attack, which is a type of web application attack. Basically, if you have a cross-site scripting attack on your website, attackers can leverage it against people that visit your website. And basically, if they clink malicious links or visit certain pages on your website, this cross-site scripting attack can run code on their computer. In this case, the researcher mentioned that the Mr. Robot site actually had some Facebook page connection. So one of the things he could have done was send a spear phishing email to a user with a specially crafted link. If the person clicked on the link, it would take them to the particular Mr. Robot site, but in the background, this cross-site scripting attack could then grab some of that user's Facebook information. So anyways, it's just a kind of fun, interesting story. A show that's known for getting hacking so right, their own website site was vulnerable to a pretty common web application flaw. Now that said, I'm sure the writers of the show have nothing to do with this particular website. So even though this is more a fun story, what can you learn from it? Now the true solution to fixing web application flaws is having secure web code. And if you're not a developer, I can't really give you tips there. But if you do have developers in your organization, be sure to point them to the OWASP page that has very common ways to actually prevent cross-site scripting attacks on your particular website. Now, if you're just an IT person, there are things you can do. For instance, web application firewalls might help block these attacks. But more importantly, at the very least, look for a web application scanner. There are web application scanners out there that can find the low-hanging fruit vulnerabilities in your website automatically, and you can at least use those to share with whoever develops your website. Anyways, I just thought it was a fun and ironic story. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Well, you heard it right. In an ironical twist, in an ironical, <laughs> I said ironical.